How's it going, guys? It's Butcher Set, and welcome back to another episode of the Gothic Invasion campaign. And you're from South for our second episode back after a long hiatus from the YouTube channel when I was uh, moving between places. I've been moving, and now I am settled down and ready to record more U4, do more for the YouTube channel. However, <clears throat> we also have. Um, have <laughs> we, in our first episode back, we immediately promptly lost. So we're going to get going with another one. Uh, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes. It's been about a month since I've actually played U4, and I don't feel too bad about it. Uh, it, it, it happens, you know? So we're going to go and get started here, and uh, hope, to, hope to do better this time. I think we kind of got unlucky with that start, too. The fact that Kandar and, and Crimea allied each other um, was not good. Georgia got really big all at once. There was some not good stuff happening there, you know, which I can't blame it all on that. But also, sometimes with stuff like this, you kind of just have to re-roll and re-roll till you get something good. So, I'm not going to beat ourselves up too much. Um, okay, so what did we do last time? Let's do that. I think that's fine. I think it's actually better. We're not pushing, so we're not losing any bonus by doing that. Um, let's go ahead and protect trade... I'll wait and do it in Constantinople. Let's go ahead and get, um, yeah, get an alliance with you. Why not? How about we get an alliance with you right off the bat this time? I actually think that'd be better. Um, so we get an alliance with both of you all. Start getting claims on Imareti because they are often the early time, the early, uh, early target that I like to go for. Um, then we put you, protecting trade, and Constantinople. I think that'll be fine. Okay, and that's fine. Hmm. Let's go ahead and grab some other stuff. So, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do that. Uh, we will marry you. Sure, I'll marry Trebizond if they offer as well. There they go. Cool. We didn't even go to V5. Moldavia already had... Wait, wait, wait. We need each other. Wait, what did they do? Did they refuse it? Wait, what? Did Moldavia refuse Poland's thing? Oh, Crimea guaranteed my independence. That's actually amazing for us. Uh, that's perfect. That means they can't attack me, which is the main reason I like that. Otherwise, I don't care really. But um, that's beautiful. That means we are defensively probably set. For a while. Okay, that's good to know. Um, wait, why did my... Wait, what? I was building there. Oh, no. Oh, Georgia already got... This has happened before. I think there was like an event chain or something with this. Or maybe they just... Uh... Oh, it's just a succession war. Wow, okay. So they already got a... We already got a succession war going here. I mean, that's fine. Let's actually... A tributary state. This is interesting, actually. I'm kind of considering it, right? Like, a, like they're a tributary. Being a tributary is not terrible. Crimea is not really. We have no obligation to defend them, but they have a good to defend us. We just have to pay them. And there's no penalty for just breaking free eventually, right? So you know what? I will actually become a a tributary. Sure, I don't I don't actually mind that, you know? Um Manpower is no big deal. Three months worth of manpower. It's a good bit of manpower, I'm not gonna lie, but um I think it's still worth it for the protection, you know. It's not bad. Not not bad at all. So yeah, Moldavia didn't become a, uh, a march of Poland, it seems. That's really interesting. They, also, they almost always do, so. Poldaya, great generalship, great minister, military support, boom, boom, boom. There you go. Okay. And yeah, we have Circassius there. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Genoa's allied with France and Venice, but uh, is that worth England because of the France thing? But doesn't have a trade league. Could benefit us, actually. OK, 
Okay, sure. Hmm. I feel like, unfortunately, George is about to get really big again. And that kind of sucks. But... Hmm. Yeah, this is unfortunate. Um, two ducats is not bad. Georgia. That sucks. Okay, let's see what they do. I bet you they take everything. Oh, gosh. I'm, I'm worried about this. Hmm. Are they gonna? Are they gonna do it? <laughs> I bet you they will. Okay. Next month we can uh, finish with Kandar. Okay. There we go. Um. Let's work on Genoa. Uh-oh. Well, that's fine. You know what? We'll do that. We have zero right now. Anyways. Ottomans are at war with Kandar and Karaman first. Interesting. That's not really... That is not normal. Hmm. That could present an opportunity. That could present an opportunity. I think it's too late, though. <laughs> If I had snuck over there right away, I could have gotten something. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I think it's too late. Rip. I mean, is it too late? I don't think there's much downside. Uh-oh. Oh no, we got the transports. All right. Let's go down to speed four, maybe. Um, hmm. Yeah, because I'm just thinking, like, if we could get this, the fact that we're a tributary of Crimea is is good. It means that the Ottomans might not even attack us if we take this land that they want. Or they might hesitate, I would say. I doubt they would really be bothered by attacking Crimea. But uh, they would probably hesitate a little more, at least than they would right now, or before, you know. There's a chance that maybe they run their army away. Yeah, the fact that Imeretti and Georgia are one big blob now is, is pretty worrisome, actually. That's actually that's such a bad thing for us. Like, it really blocks off a lot of our options in this area. Like, a lot. Hmm. Pretty much hate it. But I think, um, I don't know. Let me check the volume real quick. Seems fine. All right, um, I, I suppose that it's probably fine. I don't know. I like how we don't even have enough sailors to support our navy. It's not even that big of a navy. Hmm. I was really hoping they would um, slip up and move away, but it's not gonna happen. Yeah, there it goes. 
Well, I mean... I'll hop in there, might as well. So, let's see if they will actually... I'm, I'm curious to know if they'll even do this. There is actually a benefit to this that I didn't even think about. We could get a claim on, uh, on Constantinople if we get this province. So, uh, there's something to be said for that. Okay, on the 1st of December. Oh, that was the wrong one to do. That's fine. Alright, um... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess... I guess we could also vassalize them. That's something interesting, right? We could vassalize them. I mean, do they have any cores? They actually have more cores than just that. Um... Hmm. I mean, I doubt we're gonna win a war against the Ottomans in the next... How many years is that? Like... In the next 150 years, I still doubt we're gonna be able to win a war against them. Um, but I, I actually still think that it's worth it to vassalize them instead. Um, I do. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, I think that would be better. Let's do that for some uh, prestige. Well, let's do that, because maybe it'll give us an opinion buff with them. Okay. Yeah, whatever. I know you're upset with me. You'll learn to live with it. Okay. I think it's fine to have some vassals early on, though. It, uh, it helps our force limit out. Um, quite a bit. Okay, so let's put you there. And, uh, yeah, interesting. Okay, so. Now, I suppose... I don't know, I really want to, uh... Hmm. I really want to break George's stranglehold on Caucasia. It would be better to do that now, but it might also be better to wait till we can actually get uh, some of our allies to join. That's going to be a while, though, man. Gosh darn it. Here, get, get claims on stuff, dude. Okay. And meanwhile, I can go back up to speed five. Don't really have a lot going on right now. Okay, I'll, you know what? Let's claim Odishi. And then claim, work on more Genevieve's claims. But yeah, the fact that we're a uh, tributary of Crimea is interesting. I think it's actually, I think it's actually all right. You know, I don't think it's that bad. An idea. Hmm. So the war with England. Yep, yeah, it's gone about as much. Yep. Yeah. There it is. About as well as you'd expect. Uh, that's what I was going to say. <sighs> the question becomes... Okay, so never mind. I forgot about the, I forgot about the HRE. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> forgot about the HRE being a thing. That will definitely stop us from declaring war for the next 40 years. Which sucks, but yeah, it's okay. But now we know to remember... Genoa, probably not an option. I'll still get this other claim, but probably not an option. Yeah. 
Hmm. Okay. Kandar does like us now. Good. Oh, that's right. We need to enforce the religion at some point, but we can't do it yet. <laughs> okay, let's go back to fabricating on Georgia. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. We make a very small amount of money every month. So, um... Oh, lovely. Embrace feudalism. Good job. Okay. Oh, there's the Byzantium War. That's unfortunate, because if, if Kandar had claims right now, I could be... I could be trying to grab some territory, snag some land, you know? But unfortunately, that's not gonna work out, it doesn't seem. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely do that. Okay. Yeah, let's see. What else can we be doing here? So, we could enforce the religion, and they would pretty much, the result would pretty much be that they would hate me for a very long time. So we shouldn't do that right away. I think we should, uh, we should wait on that. I will, um, one thing that will help is getting a slightly larger army, and, uh, I think that's a good idea anyways. <laughs> um, I think, well, how many... You don't have any allies. Good. That's that's that makes sense. Luckily, George doesn't have any allies. Um, because what I'm thinking is that I want. Uh, we don't have any, right? Get another stability. It's free. Um, hmm. Like like we want to do this. I'm pretty sure they have no allies. We could probably get Trebizond to join with the promise of land and then not give him the land. Whereas Circassia, I want to keep around. So maybe I won't call them in at all. I think that's the plan. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Our ruler's really good, so I don't really want him to die. same time I don't really want to hire a new one you know what I will oh, I regret it so much oh my god all right tell you what let's get our uh, let's get our maintenance up okay we do actually have enough uh, sailors now uh, when we're in port you know <laughs> hmm okay Let's see here. Oh, Genoa and Moldavia both rivaled me at the same time. That's pretty that's pretty rude actually. Genoa, how are you able to rival me? Are we really on the same levels of power there, bud? Whatever. Um okay, two more months. Okay, Circassia is at war with other people anyways. So that's fine. I'm assuming. You want Tau, yeah. Okay, here's the deal, Trebizond. Uh, for one, I just wanna make sure we have access through each other's countries. Um, and then, yeah, I think I wanna go to war with them for Abkhazia, why not? So I think we call in trucks on, we lie to them, tell them we're gonna go and land. And I think we do it. I don't think Admiral's really worth it, but maybe it is, I don't know. No, let's uh let's do it. Okay. 
Gosh darn it, my ruler just died. As I had him on the boat. Oh my god. That's actually just comical. I'm not even really that mad. Okay, so I mean... Yeah, so Kandar's gonna rush in there. Trebizon will probably go get themselves killed, that's okay. <laughs> They're gonna provide a lovely distraction. Hopefully we can get Imoretti disloyal. That would be nice. Now that's an interesting battle. Ooh, not so interesting now. That's uh that's that sucks. Wow. Oh, we can just walk by land. Look at that. Um, okay, our marriage to Trebizon ended. That's actually good. We're gonna have to take some debt on here, by the way, I'm pretty sure. It's okay, though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh no, we didn't have our leader on the boats. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, well, Kandar's army is already dead. Luckily, this is a level 3 fort, so that's taking them a while. Hmm. I think this is going alright. Oh, gosh darn it. Let's see if we can, like, no, we don't want to do that. Okay, well, tell you what. I should wrap up this episode here. This has been going much better than the previous attempt, though. So, thank you guys for watching. Please go and leave a like and subscribe for more. And we'll come back with another episode. Again, sorry for the break in videos before the last one. Uh, we should have a more consistent schedule nowadays. Thank you guys for joining us, uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.